All right, Brian, thank you. They get a piece of nearly $300 million in taxpayer money. And if it were up to PBS, the public broadcasting service, lessons on love and sex would start in kindergarten at age four. PBS NewsHour arguing the Dutch system of teaching sex ed to four-year-olds should make its way to the United States. Is that a good idea? Here for a fair and balanced debate, we've got former teacher Whitney Neal, joining us from Washington, and parenting blogger Sherry Corso here in our studio. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Sherry, you think the Dutch model, where they're teaching kids about sex at age four, is okay? Yes, I do. It's a different world that we live in today, and the children today well, four are... Four-year-olds. We're talking four, about four-year-olds. Four-year-olds. When, okay. when you were four-year-old, you didn't have the internet, you didn't have the web, you weren't bombarded by these sexually explicit messages like the kids are today. It's also a uh, study done in Georgetown and also other many social studies that the earlier that we start teaching our kids about um, sexuality and being responsible for your body okay. and there is lower uh, teen birth rate rates, there is lower amounts of sexual abuse because they can identify it oh, sooner. Oh, oh, okay, and, and certainly that's a dialogue, Whitney, that should happen, but at age four? Yeah, not at age four and not in school. I mean, I think the important thing here is that a parent has the right to decide when and how they discuss these issues with their child. That's right. I and just want to well, also say well, that we're Sherry, not hijacking Sherry, Sherry, what a parent's role is. We're just okay. giving them more information. Sherry, well, let Whitney feel her, uh, finish her thought, please. Thank you. I mean, the, this whole thing, the Dutch model, is about teaching it in school and having these conversations in a group setting with an educator. I'm a parent. I would want to have that conversation with my child. I'm the person who knows best when they're ready to have that talk and how we want to have that discussion with them. And I think that the sheer idea that a teacher or in a group setting is a better place to have this talk with a child is disturbing. Um, and frankly, is another example of trying to take the responsibility for these things away from the parent. I think we need to be very aware of the fact that it is our role as parents to have these talks, not the role of the public school. Okay. Sherry? I do agree that we have a role in the household for our moral compass, but I do believe that children are so bombarded with so much information that this information is guided and we can guide our children through these terms. I just had to explain to my daughter what transsexual was based on all this information. How old is your daughter? She's 11 years old. Okay. And the children are saying when they're younger, yeah, I like this one. Maybe I'm gay. Maybe I'm not. Mm -hmm. Children say crazy things. And I think that we need a group of people to help them and guide them okay. through. All right. Uh, well, Whitney, I, I think at age 11, a lot of kids do have questions because they have smartphones and stuff like that. But at age four, you would think that most parents would not allow kids to be on the Internet to fish around for stuff that's gross. Exactly. There's a big difference between a four-year-old and an 11-year-old. And as I was reading the recommendations made on the PBS show, one of them was to have kids at age four or five labeling genitalia on a map, on a diagram of the human body. And I think that there are a lot of things that are brought to light by having young children do that, that they're just not prepared for. Maybe that is something yeah. that an 11-year-old can handle, but definitely not my kindergartner. All right. Uh, great uh, discussion, ladies, this morning. Uh, Whitney and Sherry, we thank you both for joining us live. Folks out there in TV land, what do you think about starting at age four. PBS going from Big Bird to, well, you know, email us. Meanwhile, a circus stunt goes horribly wrong.